Hello, so this is the University of Maine at Augusta Field Placement 2. So we have the table of contents. The field introduction. The fieldwork experience is an opportunity to continue your practical experience in the setting of your choice. You will have numerous opportunities to create and establish professional connections. Faculty members will guide you through this opportunity by working closely with your organization and modeling your progress. You may ask what is in the overall purpose. Applying your skills and knowledge that have been acquired through your coursework, acquire new technology skills that are often individualized within an organization. Build professional experience relating to your chosen career. Employ and strengthen your community connection, your communication skills, and build constructive professional relationships. Review what professional and personal competencies are needed to further develop in your transition in your professional life. This capstone course offers students the opportunity to work under supervision in a public or private sector agency for 24 hours per week for a semester. Application of knowledge and skill relating to the coursework. In addition, seminars are required. This course requires video conferencing throughout the semester. Minimum grade of C is required to pass this course for the degree requirements. Senior status and completion of Human Services 108, 316, 349, and 223 fieldwork preparation and Human Services 270 Field Placement 1 are all prerequisites for taking the Field Placement 2. So learning outcomes. Upon successful completion of this course, students will be able to engage in a range of experiences in mental health and human services work under supervision, perform entry-level professional tasks within the internship setting, practice appropriate ethical behaviors as applicable by the internship setting. Accreditation standards. So provide a brief description of overall process and structure of the fieldwork learning experience. Provide evidence that one academic credit is awarded for no less than three hours of fieldwork experience per week. Demonstrate that students are exposed to human services agencies and clients early in the program. Provide a copy of their current manual and guidelines that are given to students, advising them of field placement requirements and policies. Provide documentation of written learning agreements with field agencies that specify students' role, activities, anticipated learning outcomes, supervision, and field instruction. The agreement must be signed by the appropriate agency director, field work supervisor, program instructor, and student. Provide a syllabi for required seminars. Seminars must meet no less than every two weeks. Seminar hours must meet, not be included in field experience hours. Provide evidence that required field experience is no less than 350, may include 250 from 250 from the associate's level. Clock hours, a field experience with at least 100 of these clock hours occurring in the junior and senior years. So once again, we had the contact information for the field placement team. Okay. So once again, we have the academic policies. Academic integrity means that a student's work is the product of his or her own effort. Violations of academic integrity include such behaviors as cheating, fabricating, and plagiarism. To describe more fully in the UMA Student Academic Integrity Code, which is published in an online UMA student handbook, each semester, each well, each student is responsible for learning the standards of academic integrity and ensuring that his or her work meets these standards. Failure to do so may result in appropriate sanctions consistent with UMA Student Academic Integrity Policy. If you have any questions about the academic integrity of your work, Discuss these with your instructor before submitting the work. 
the full policy can be found at this little link here. Um, or you just go look up UMA Student Handbook. ADA accommodations. If you have a disability which may affect your ability to participate fully in this course, it is your responsibility to request accommodations promptly. Contact the Learning Support Service Office on your campus or coordinate coordinator of student services at your campus or center to discuss possible assistance. Accommodations must be requested each semester and are not provided retroactively. And then we have the Title IV statement. The University of Maine at Augusta is committed to providing an environment free of violence and harassment based on sex and gender. Such civil rights offenses are subject to the same accountability and support as offenses based on race, national origin, etc. If you or someone else within the UMA community is struggling within sex discrimination, sexual harassment, sexual assault, relationship violence, or stalking, you can find a appropriate resource under their Title IV thing on their website. <sighs> Ugh. So, we move on to UMA role and responsibilities. Ongoing evaluation is an integral part of field education and serves to foster professional development. UMA will manage the screening of students, placement approval, and the grading evaluation of students. Students will have weekly contact with the faculty and field placement director if required. UMA provides a pre-field placement preparation course to brief students on requirements and expectations. During this course, students begin to plan for their field placements. Placement information forms are due seven weeks prior to the start of semester to allow for the necessary contracts and liability agreements prior to starting. The field placement director is responsible for submitting to the UMS for organizational contracts. UMA will keep open communication with organizations. However, FERPA guidelines must be adhered to. Faculty will contact each placement site at a minimum of once per semester. This contact may be done via phone, in person, video conference, or email. The main purpose is to monitor students' progress. Faculty will evaluate all assignments accordingly. In addition to assignments, there will be a semester where participation is required throughout the semester. Faculty are here to support this placement. Field placement reimbursement. Field placement students may be paid or unpaid. This depends on the organization and the field coordinator. If the field placement experience is a student's current job, the UMA encourages additional functions that advance students' learning during the placement. So primary roles and responsibilities for supporting organization. The primary role of the field placement site is to provide supervision and guidance during the semester of the student. In addition, communication with students, faculty, and field placement director if needed. Such communication may include email, phone, video conferencing, end of semester evaluations, and site visits. A minimum of one hour a week of supervision by a person with a bachelor's degree in a related field. In addition, provide students with information for the completion of the placement information form to create a contractual agreement. Within the first two weeks, create a learning plan with students. Provide students with professional opportunities to develop and increase skills to enhance marketability. Provide tools and resources for students to complete required tasks. Advise students in job seeking skills. Counsel students in dealing with problems that might arise. Consider providing students with a letter of reference. Organizational benefits, having a student from UMA at your organization, maybe many afford numerous benefits. Early recruitment, access to current concepts and ideas, adventures from passionate and advantages from passionate and knowledgeable students and faculty, bringing on extra staff to address projects, develop a relationship between your organization and UMA, reduce training costs by inviting students to share their training. UMA students tend to be adult learners, so in some cases you are getting experienced or multi-career students. 
supervision. Schedule on-site supervision sessions weekly. Supervisor must have a bachelor's degree in a related field. Provide feedback to students timely and effectively. Evaluate any assignments needed. Provide periodic phone, email, or video contact with on-site supervisor and possible UMA faculty. A minimum of one hour per week of supervision is suggested. Provide students with professional opportunities to develop and increase skills to enhance marketability. Evaluation of student and field placement site. Coordinate the completion of the performance evaluation. Review learning contract at the end of the semester to determine the degree and which students met their goals. We appreciate your willingness to support our students as they enter a new career path. So time frames, field placement occurs all year long, fall semester, September to December, spring is January to May, and summer, May to August. Students should provide organizations with an academic calendar. On-site supervisors should discuss the organizational holidays and academic calendar to arrange a mutable schedule. Total number of hours for this one required is 336 hours, must be completed during this semester enrolled. Completion of hours and absences from field. So Human Services 470 is 14 weeks at 24 hours of total of 336 hours. There is no time for vacation. Field supervisors may assign up to five hours per semester of additional reading or research specifically related to the student's field placement. Student responsibilities. Field placement reimbursement. You or may, um, students may be paid or unpaid. This depends on the organization and the field placement director of you or may. If the field placement experience is a student's current job, you or may wants to encourage additional functions that advance students' learning. Field placement. Students are responsible for locating their own field placement, requiring students to seek out potential organizations at least a semester prior to enrolling in the course. A list of previous accepting organization is available for assistance. In addition, please contact faculty for ideas. All students must complete all assignments on time. It is a student's responsibility to communicate to both the on-site supervisor and assigned faculty members. Background checks must be initiated by the student if there are any questions. Students will need to pay for background checks as well. Students are responsible for acting in a professional manner. Placement information form must be an electronic submission to field placement coordinator seven days prior, seven weeks event prior to the semester. So in placement, first week, students must communicate to a side facility member immediately after the first week of field experience by email, and each week thereafter, an email is required. Second and third week, students must submit their learning objectives signed by their field supervisor to the faculty member by email or a side Dropbox. Students will attend video conferences or seminar sessions during the placement led by your faculty member. Students will turn in all assignments on time. Students should follow the organization policies and procedures. Students will conduct themselves in accordance with the policies and practices of the organization. Academic credit. Students only receive academic credit for work successfully completed at the organization. The purpose of this field placement is to apply theories, concepts, and skills acquired to the academic classroom to real-world situations. While students are in their field experience, in their field experience, they will be assigned a faculty member to track their academic progress and award an academic grade. Learning objectives. Field placement evaluation contains redetermined objectives. There is space to individualize your learning with specific objectives. Possible examples are demonstrate professional and ethical behaviors by following confidential guidelines, assuring client rights, and maintaining personal and professional boundaries. Demonstrate ability to communicate with others effectively, practice effective, respectful, and supportive communication with clients and colleagues. Accurately completed daily, weekly, appropriate progress notes, documentation, behavioral observation, subjective data, and goal progress status. Completes clear and accurate documentation as required in timely manner, and then advocates for and supports clients as appropriate while maintaining boundaries. Professional behavior, acting in a manner consistent with values 
of human service practice, respectful communication in all settings, observing and maintaining confidentiality, refraining from disclosure, self-disclosure, maintaining personal and professional boundaries in all areas, complying with agency policies, procedures, regulations, and federal state law governing the internship setting, follow the organization of personal policies, including professional dress. So then we have the concerns for the field placement site. Uh, what do we want to accomplish from our field work site? Where can we be the most value be achieved from this placement? Who is the best suited to be the contact person? How will we measure success at a field plate work provider? Where will students be located within our office? What is needed to set up an adequate workspace? What academic skills and background do we expect of students? What other professional experience can we provide for a student beyond day-to-day -day work tasks? So then we have safety precautions. Field placement involves risk inherent in client contract, contact. Students participating in the field placement work experience should engage in behavior that enhances safety and minimizes risk. UMA MHHS is requiring placement agencies to address slash adopt policies and procedures designed to address safety for students. Agencies must have policies to address any work situation that entails risks such as, but not limited to, home visits, services outside the agency, an isolated or high crimes area, services to clients who become angry or violent, are using drugs or intoxicated, and services that are politically sensitive and could result in threats of violence. Each agency is responsible for determining its own situation where student safety may be placed in jeopardy. Student orientation must include training on the agency's safety and sexual harassment policies. Students should never be alone without other staff present in an agency or building at any time. Transportation of clients, the school does not require students to transport clients if the organization requires or a student chooses to transport clients at the field placement they should first check with the agency to determine the agency's policy regarding use of personal vehicles and whether the agency has an insurance policy that covers this use students should also check with their own insurance company to make sure these activities are covered criminal background checks many agencies that provide field placement opportunities for students require a criminal background check if a criminal background check indicates a conviction, it may prevent you from securing a field placement. A conviction may also negatively impact your ability to get licensed. It is recommended that you contact a licensure board in the states you plan to practice for more information regarding their requirements. Other types of background checks may be identified and required by your organization. So eight steps to getting started. Identify your goals for the intern. Develop a job description that you'd like to fill your organization. Determine if the field placement will be paid or unpaid. Determine when you will start your program. Communicate the field placement position at the UMA MHHS. Determine your selection method. Interview the candidates and determine if there is a good fit. Like any candidates, potential interns possess different strengths. It's important to assess each candidate with respect to the available position. Schedule a mutually agreeable start date and develop expectations regarding the intern's ongoing work schedule. Assign a supervisor and communicate with your contact at UMA. The more prepared you are for this field work placement, the more maintain maintainable your placement may become. So then we have this orientation checklist. We encourage an orientation to all students. The following is recommended checklist to assist. So we have uh, familiarity with the location, with clear expectations of communication, introduce students to key employees, office tour, field placement, um, determines supervision times, assign a person for day-to-day -day questions, discuss time recording, complete necessary paperwork, review P and P, um, organize information, discuss relevant histories and objectives, and then ta-da, little dude. So then we have a lot of these the same questions as the one. So how do I locate potential field? 
you can go on the MHHS website, talk to your classmates, call around. How many hours do I need to schedule? So for Hus 470, it's 336 at 24 hours a week. If, can I get paid? You must be able to satisfy the following criteria. You have had the position for less than six months or you have additional responsibilities. Can I finish early? You must clock 336 hours. The contract covers your liability for the entire semester. And then we move to this, which we'll talk about um, the evaluation and what you need to do for that, which I'm just going to. So weekly assignments is journal, journal that summarizes the field work, weekly self-care practice, bi-weekly seminar, attendance is required for that, and topic discussion. Semester assignments, a narrative describing the field work placement. Three narratives that demonstrate the application of course knowledge and skill in the field work experience. Time log is required. One professional letter of recommendations are required. And field work placement evaluation. So that is it. Other than looking at, once again, we have a... How you would do this. So that's it.